the filament guide finished about maybe 10 minutes ago so that's still warm it's at uh, 44 degrees but should be good enough to uh, remove the parts so let's see what happens here okay so there's the guide and in here had to do supports and they're not going to come off very easily that one did that one did so this will be the support I did I don't like touching the bed I did two of the pins one pin is 110 percent bigger than the other one uh, the directions on this said do 110 percent so uh, I did one normal size and then the other when I printed this before I'm not sure I don't remember if I did that or not and then the actual gear let's remove this off the bed the gear is not going to be able to spin unless you do something so I've got nothing that will go into this because I thought I had an allen wrench that uh, that matched that's a little too big so I will have to go get an allen wrench and put that in here to actually break these gears loose because they're not going to break then once the gears break I can put the gear in there use the pins and I think I have one back here this is how it will look you know when, once I get it completed I what happened is the pin broke off in the other one after about a year's worth of use and I always wanted orange so I just uh, reprinted the whole thing so that should do it last time I had to put this in I put in a uh, allen wrench and put it on a drill to actually spin it to loosen it up so that it would uh, be free spinning well it took another four hours to print my gear again this is the third gear I've got and uh, the first two I could not get these gears freed up uh, saw YouTube recommended putting on an end tap it with a hammer I should have YouTubed it, I should have videoed it, uh, just shattered. And even the pieces, the gears were stuck to the pieces. So I was like, I've changed some parameters. I can actually see it's not fused together, so I'm not sure how we'll... Oh, this one's going to break off nicely, I think. Plus I have my Allen wrench here to... Uh, do this oh look at that gear that that worked nice it was a parameter I changed let's look and cure real quick horizontal I changed the parameter horizontal expansion to negative 0.16 and now my gear is working almost right off the the, uh, the bed so I think we I think I finally found a setting to do the gear you can see it's it is loose it's moving around in there I, I hoping the camera can pick that up 
goes in and out a little bit, but I'm not having the issue. It's locking up a little bit. It'll free up nicely. The one I had done before, about a year ago in blue, I had to put it on a drill and I used salt as a abrasive to kind of get the gears down. Uh, this one came right off the bed and we're good to go. So there you have it. So now I can put this all together, uh, refeed my uh, filament line through it and should be good. Well, it's next day. I've spent watching TV last night spinning it. There's a couple tight spots, but it's spinning, spinning pretty good. I think you can see that. See, there's that tight spot. So, thought I'd finish up the video. It's time to put this together. This will just go into the hole in the center. So now we've got the bracket. I did two pins. I did a uh, pr pin printed at 110%. I think that's going to be too big. So I'm going to use the pin that's at 100% uh, and we'll get this mounted back on the, the ender and I'll be back in, in business. Okay, now let's bring it around here and, and mount this. Need to get the clip. Filament really doesn't matter. There's a little lip here that it goes over. And now we're mounted. Just that quick. So now the filament goes a little bit straighter path into the Bowden tubes. So now we got it.